Hey guys, quick back Mr. Basics here. Let's talk about Gibralins. Gibralins were discovered by Japanese scientists in the year 1920 when they were trying to study seeds of the rice plants. During the study, they found that when the seeds of the rice were infected by a fungus, the plants germinated from such seedlings became very tall, pale, and gave less yield. In the next experiment, they took the fungal extract and sprayed on the rice plants. The effects observed after spraying were similar to the previous experiment. The rice plants became tall, pale, and gave less yield. By 1935, the active compound responsible for causing these effects in plants was purified and crystallized. This purified compound was known as gibralin. One of the prominent effects of this compound is to cause cell elongation. Now because it has a role in plant cell elongation, it should also be made by the plant itself. Further research showed that gibralin is present in large quantities in young germinating seeds, root tips, and young apical leaves. It also had a very important role in breaking the dormancy of the seeds. If the seeds treated with gibralin is placed on starch agar, then it shows zone of starch hydrolysis. This experiment shows that gibralin induces starch hydrolysis in seeds by activating alpha amylase, an enzyme responsible for the hydrolysis of starch. Besides these effects, gibralins also have a role in stem elongation and development of flowers.